Members of the royal Nigerian family were in Lexington for a special presentation this week. They highlighted Kentucky's rich ties to African history and how current residents may be able to trace their ancestors all the way back to the motherland. LEX 18 Sydney Darden has the story. Inside the Lyric Theater, the historic ties between Nigeria and Lexington came to life. We're here today to build the bridges so that people can understand the history about the Igbos who came from Kentucky, came into Virginia, and how they helped build these two parts of the country. Historical documents show that some of the first African slaves in Kentucky originated from the Igbo Erie Kingdom. In 2018, current king, King Ize Chukwamika Erie, held a traditional cleansing of the stigma of slavery here in Lexington. Today, he and his family returned to encourage black residents to learn where they came from and find their roots. This gives us a good segue to start opening up for our people to start learning who they are. A mission that's taken them from Africa to America and beyond. And honoring every one of our ancestors that have contributed to our evolution from around the world. Robin Scott Manna was originally cleansed by the king back in 2012. She received a new name and title of Queen Mother. The royal family was presented with traditional Native American gifts to represent the importance of bringing people from different places together saying today's event is just the first of many to help create international connections. Many paths, one truth. In Lexington, Sydney Darden, LEX 18 News.